The eyes to the right, 306. The nose to the left, 325. The eyes to the right, 306. The nose to the left, 325. So the nose have it. The nose have it. Unlock! Point of order, the Prime Minister. On a point of order, Mr Speaker, I'm pleased that this House has expressed its confidence in the Government tonight. Not take this responsibility lightly, and my government will continue its work to increase our prosperity, guarantee our security, and to strengthen our union. And yes, we will also continue to work to deliver on the solemn promise we made to the people of this country to deliver on the result of the referendum and leave the European Union. I believe this duty is shared by every member of this House. And we have a responsibility to identify a way forward that can secure the backing of the House. To that end, I have proposed a series of meetings between senior parliamentarians and representatives of the Government over the coming days. And I would like to invite the leaders of parliamentary parties to meet with me individually. And I would like to start these meetings tonight. Ah. Mr Speaker. Ah. The Government approaches these meetings in a constructive spirit, and I urge others to do the same. But we must find solutions that are negotiable and command sufficient support in this House. And, as I have said, we will return to the House on Monday to table an amendable motion and to make a statement about the way forward. The House has put its confidence in this Government. I stand ready. I stand ready to work with any member of this House to deliver on Brexit and ensure that this House retains the confidence of the British people. Last night, last night, the House rejected the government's conclusion of its negotiations with the European. Order, order. order. I called the Prime Minister on a point of order, and the Prime Minister was heard, and she was heard in relative tranquillity and certainly with courtesy. And the same courtesy will be extended to the leader of the opposition and to others who seek to raise points of order. That's the way it is. Jeremy Corbyn. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Last night, the House rejected the Government's uh, deal, emphatically. A week ago, the House voted to condemn the idea of a no-deal Brexit. Before there can be any positive discussions about the way forward, the Government... The government must remove, must remove clearly, once and for all, the prospect of the catastrophe of a no-deal Brexit from the EU and all the chaos that would come as a result of that. And I invite the Prime Minister to confirm now that the government will not countenance a no-deal Brexit from the European Union. A point of order, Mr Ian Blackford. Thank you, Mr Speaker, and I must say that I welcome the offer of talks from the Prime Minister. I think it's important, Mr Speaker, that all of us recognise the responsibility that we have, and on the back of the defeat of the Government's motion last night, that we have to work together where we can to find a way forward. I commit the Scottish National Party to working constructively with the Government. However, I do think it's important, I do think it is important in that regard, that we make it clear to the Prime Minister, in a spirit of openness, in these talks, that the issue of removing article, or extending Article 50 of a people's vote and avoiding a no deal have to be on the table. We have to agree to enter these talks on the basis that we can move forward and achieve a result which will unify all the nations of the United Kingdom. Yeah. Thank you. Point, yes. Point of order, uh, Sir Edward Davy, and then I'll come to the right on them. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, From the Liberal Democrat position, we are clear that 
we want to engage with talks with Her Majesty's Government. But it's very important that the government makes clear that no deal is not an option. It's very, very important that the Prime Minister, as she actually, to be fair to her, earlier today didn't do, that rule out uh, extending Article 50. It's important that the House gives that, has that chance to think and come together. And finally, I would ask the Prime Minister, will she ensure, Mr Speaker, that this House gets a chance to take control of our own business as we go through the next few days and weeks? Thank you. Uh, point into order, Mr Nigel Dodds. Mr Speaker, and the uh, result of the uh, motion of no confidence tonight illustrates the importance of the confidence and supply arrangement that is currently in place between... I'm always... I'm always... I'm always... I have to say I'm always delighted when my opponents illustrate the strength of that uh, relationship that we have and what it's delivering for Northern Ireland. And when the people of Northern Ireland see that investment in education and health and infrastructure, they will thank this Parliament and they will thank this party and this government for that extra investment. Can I say this? Can I, can I say this? Oh, order, Mr. Stone. Normally, order. Very unseemly behaviour. Normally, you behave with great dignity in this place. Calm yourself, ma'am. Get a grip. Nigel Dodds. Mr. Speaker, thank you. Can I say, however, that the that the confidence and supply arrangement, of course, is built upon delivering Brexit on the basis of our shared priorities, and for us, that is the union. And we want to deliver Brexit, taking back control of our laws, our border and our money, and we leave the European Union as one country. Let us work in the coming days to achieve that objective. Yeah.